big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got this on a 10 foot rod. Big ocean water reel. And it's just ripping line. Had it on monster bluegill. Come here last night. Caught four shovel head. Missed two big ones. This is a really big fish. This is really, really demanding section of the river. It's four big concrete blocks. Rebar all over. Trees all over the place. So landing a really big fish and this kind of stuff is really tough. I'm telling you, this is a saltwater duty rod. And you can see it's bent over. The current's running pretty strong, so... I'll try to get some line on him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, folks. I've caught a lot of fish. And good size ones. In my life. And this here is a monster shovel head. He's just laying out there in that front. There's just nothing I can do. You can feel him rolling. Oh, you can see when he lunges forward. I gotta try to get him back up in this hole. You can hear my rod. It feels like it's around something, too. Just trying to get leverage. It's got my rod just creaking. That's funny. After last night, I made some mistakes and decided that I'd get out this old rod I've had for a lot of years. And I caught a lot of really nice fish on it. And I hadn't used it for a long time. And it's a pretty good lucky rod, so... Getting some headway on this fish now. Getting back up in there. There it goes again. It's up on top of the water now. If I can just keep it here. There it goes. Oh my. Oh my. Just got to take it easy. Try to keep its head up as much as possible in this, this terrain that we're in. It's just tough. Listen to it. Listen to it. I'm telling you. You guys are going to be surprised when I bring this fish in. It's going to be a big one. Other thing about fishing a real long rod, you get its head up, you can have a little bit more control over it. Get some light on it. He's right there in front of me right now. He's right about right here. Look at him. There's a fish in the river. I'm telling you what, folks, ain't nothing better than this. That's what I fish for right there. That fish is just lip hooked. Strong, strong fish. He's just lip right, or hooked right in the lip. What a battle. What a battle. He's not finished yet. Oh, yeah. Last night I was sort of frustrated because I caught smaller ones. I caught about eight this year. This will be my ninth so far. Okay. Go. Oh, my. What a fish. That's what it's about right there. That's what it's all about right there. In the river, strong current, big live bluegill, three ounce circle. Look at this hook. Perfect. 
I mean, if I would have gave him any any uh, slack at all, I, he would have got off. There it is. beast what a beautiful fish with a tape on it that's probably 39 38 39 inch fish folks I'm not gonna weigh this fish I've always weighed them in the past I've been really lucky to catch a lot of these fish and I don't want to go sticking scales and stuff in it Shaking. What an adrenaline rush. Oh, easy. He's got attitude. We're going to call it, we'll call it 40 inches. You can see, trying to stretch it, the fish in perfectly straight, so it might be a hair more, but we'll call it 40 inches. I'm sure a lot of people ask me what it weighs, and like I said, I'm not going to weigh it. I'm going to snap some pictures, I'm going to snap some pictures, and turn her back. There she is folks, there's the beast, beautiful fish, I'm telling you I just love them, got to make sure you turn these fish back, look at that. I'm gonna let you go, baby. This is the best part. This fish gave me tons of pleasure and joy. Big monster shovel head. Hold on to it. Let it get its bearings. It's getting ready to go. Folks, you gotta make sure, you know, eat those smaller fish. Fish like this don't always come along. Make sure you hold it. You don't have to push it back and forth. It's best if you just hold it and let its gills go to work. See them fluffing there. I want to make sure there. She's getting ready now. Yeah. 